Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about Canva again and I want to stress that I'm not sponsored in any way by Canva. I just think that they're doing an absolutely wonderful job supporting educators around the world to providing Canva Pro for free. And this week I'm going to be talking about how you can use Canva as a mathematics teacher. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so Canva has finally released an app called Equation for mathematics teachers. And previously, it was so difficult to actually use any mathematical symbols and equations. And there were all these workarounds that I had to do, even for square roots and squared. But now they have a beta version of an app that has equations. So you can see here, I've got a template. Um, I actually clicked on worksheet, so it gave me uh, some templates for worksheets. Let me make myself just a little bit smaller and move myself to the side and then show you where to find this app. So you go to apps here, you can see, and then we're going to search equation. So just search equation. This was just hot off the press. You can see it's beta version. It's called equations. And then you've got the square root of X here. So click on that. So now you can see, OK, insert maths formulas into designs. And because it's an Australian company, we call it maths and not math, as you notice. So I'm going to open this. And you can see that I've got the basic symbols up here already, which has got, you know, exponents or to the powers of. I've got square roots. I've got fractions. And then I've also got color. If I press on the advanced, then you can see I've got brackets or we call them parentheses in different parts of the world. There's equations and then there's elementary exponents, matrices. That's wonderful. So if you're teaching the diploma mathematics courses where matrices is part of the AA course, you've got sets, you've got calculus. Wonderful. Trigonometry. That was a real hassle when I was creating some trigonometric functions, learning experiences, some inquiry learning experiences, trying to type in just those symbols were really challenging. OK, so let's give equation speeder a little try. So let's start with a fraction. So I'm going to press the fraction button and say three over four plus, oops, you have to actually click out and press plus. We don't want the denominator to be adding numbers. And then another fraction, and I've got, let's say, one over three. Now, I wouldn't be using this to create a worksheet necessarily. I would be using this um, as part of the paper folding visualizer activity that I have for helping students understand what they're doing when they're actually adding fractions. And so let's press insert equation here. And I can see I've got my equation, which I can start just typing in. Let's go to advanced and have a look at some of the different functions that I can use here. OK, so I've got my original equation in. And if I want to insert another equation, I suggest I did a bit of a trial and error that you copy this and then you paste this again and then you edit one of them. So let's say I'm going to it was pi day the other day again. So how about if I put in pi, which is down here? Let's look for pi. Yep, pi. And that is actually equal to, and this was very difficult to actually type into Canva before. Uh, this is going to be circumference, okay, over diameter. And let's just update that element, and then it updates like that. So Canva, once again, this is such a wonderful tool for all educators and students. And it was wonderful to see that students I noticed in grade two, I was visiting a school last week and students in grade two were actually using Canva design to express and represent their understanding of different concepts. And so now it's going to be a lot easier for teachers and students to use equations, which is still in beta version, but it's still pretty good for us to be able to type in the actual mathematical symbols that we want to use. So thank you once again, Canva, and thank you for joining me this week. I hope to see you next time. Bye.